Hi, this is Evan, and I'll be walking you through the organization side of the LRNG platform. Here's an example of an organization account dashboard. We'll highlight the important features of each section. The content manager allows you to view, edit, duplicate, or publish any piece of content made by your organization. You can also create new content of any type by clicking the Create button here. Let's create a new example XP, or a single experience for users, and place that into an existing draft playlist. Your XP needs a name and a banner. This banner can either be an image or a video. Your XP will also need a description so that learners know what it entails, submission requirements so that learners know what to submit in order to complete the XP, learning details, which describe how long the XP will take to complete as well as its interest categories, any resource links a learner might need in order to complete the XP, and finally publishing properties, which detail how learners will find your content. Next, let's add this XP to a playlist already in progress. Many of the requirements are the same, but there are two new sections for attaching XPs and a badge. This is where you find XPs your organization created and can add them to your playlist. You see this playlist already has a few XPs in it. Let's add our newly created XP. We can remove or adjust the order of XPs on the right. One cool feature of LRNG is the ability to copy and modify content made by other organizations. We call this remixing. I can search for other organizations' content here as well and add a copy to my playlist. I can also remix directly from a content page while signed into my organization account. Finally, I can attach a badge I've already made to this playlist. When you make a badge, it's highly recommended that you try to add an opportunity that becomes available to any user who earns it, such as being entered into a raffle or the chance to attend a mock interview. Let's next turn to the approval section, where you'll go to review playlist submissions from users and award badges. First, we'll go through playlist approvals. Playlists are selected by default. You'll start by seeing a list of all of your organization's playlists, as well as a summary of all user activity on each. When you see that you have submissions ready for review, you can select that playlist. From the next screen, you can also select the user's submission that you want to review. I'd also like to note here that you can take a peek at users that are still in progress to see how far they are and potentially correct user trajectory before they submit their playlist. The final step is to actually review their submitted artifacts. As you look through each XP submission, or artifact, you have the option to check the box on the right if revisions are needed and add your feedback at the end. If no revisions are needed, you can click Done after your comments and approve the playlist submission. If you have a single XP or badge that's not associated with a playlist, you can also bulk award for completion of the requirements yourself through the same flow. This allows you to award a badge to multiple users at the same time. For instance, when engaging in in-person or event-based programming. Select a specific piece of content, choose all of the users who completed the activity, then upload a piece of evidence to satisfy the requirements. As an example, this could be a class photo or attendance file for all those who participated. The group section allows you to do two things. Upload new users associated with your organization and view their contact information and engagement with your content. Although users can sign up for LRNG on their own, creating a group is how you associate them with your organization. Enter a group name and description to help you track your users. Next, we have a template where you can enter your users' names. Remember, you'll need either a phone number or an email address to sign up users so they can verify their accounts. Invite emails or text messages will be sent to each user you sign up so that they can complete registration. If you need to reinvite users or edit your groups, you can do so by clicking the box to the left of your newly created group and selecting the appropriate action. One convenience of having your users associated with your organization is the ability to easily track their contact info and keep a record of previous submissions and content they've completed. If you click on an individual's name, you'll be taken to a screen showing that user's basic info, the groups they belong to, and the storage of all their previously submitted artifacts. You can also designate up to three pieces of content, either playlists, XPs, or badges, as featured content 
which will make these items appear at the top of your org page and surface in org content previews. Thanks for listening. Hit us up on Intercom whenever you have any questions.